book of Genesis chapter number 26 and verse number 22. The Bible records he moved on from there and dug another well and no one quarreled over it. He named it Rehoboth, saying now the Lord has given us a room to prosper. Glory be to the name of the Lord. That is Isaac. Uh, uh, the Bible records if we borrow from the verses above to Taona Yakwamba, Isaac had dug other wells, and the Bible say that he reopened other wells, which the uh, Ambazo, Baba Yake Abrahamu, Alikua Mechibua, but the Philistines, Walikua Wameweka Mchanga. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And the Bible said that he dug the first well, and because the people of, of Gera, the Philistines, they quarreled uh, about the well, he called it Essek, and he did not stop there. When Isaac dug the first well, and the Philistines came, and they quarreled, he moved on. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Our generation is not a generation where when things are not working in our favor, we don't know how to throw the towel. Yes. We know how to press on, Amen. to move on, yes. to get to another level. Yes. Because we are not alone. Yes. Tell your neighbor, Nerius, you are not alone. Yes. I am yes. not alone. I am not alone. I am not alone. I not alone. And the Bible said that Isaac, he reopened. Akehikura, he reopened the world. Amen. That tells me, and the, by the way, the Bible records that he called the wells the same names yes. Abraham had called them. What does that one tell us? That our blessings, our breakthrough, we they are already renamed. Yes. And the Bible says when they quarreled about the first well, yes. he moved on. Glory Amen. be to the name of the Lord. Amen. I am a Hannah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And the Bible records that he moved on and he dug another well. And imagine the Philistines, we are still following him. Allow me to prophesy this hour and decree Amen. that whatever is following you, ah, to push is it to push or to pull, to push you backward. Yes. Tell them, no, you are not their candidate. Amen. We know our God. Amen. And our God is a progressive God. Amen. Our God is not a stagnant God. Amen. Our God knows no delay. Yes. When they quarrel about this business, yes. we still have the wisdom mm -hmm. to move on because we are not moving alone. Yes. 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 Shenyu uh, mwambia misi kwa solo. Misi kwa solo. Misalo ama solo. One of the above. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. He moved on and dug another well. Amen. And the Philistines still quarreled uh, about it. And he called it Sidna. Glory be to the name Amen. of the Lord. But the verse number 22, the Bible records that he moved on and dug another well. And upon that well, he started prophesying. Amen. We are here to prophesy. Yeah, yeah. And Isaac said, Amen. and now God has given me room to prosper. Yes. Amen. 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 To the name of the Lord. Amen. And now, tell your neighbor not tomorrow. Not, not tomorrow. tomorrow now. It is now. It is now. The God has given us a room to prosper. Yeah. And when God gives a room, it <laughs> means that we are not limited. Yeah. When God is in the picture, there is no limitation. Yeah. When God is the foundation, Amen. it means we can go up. Glory yes. be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Because let me tell us this afternoon, the, the, the what? The whatever is holding this building, it's going to from up Seventeen. Imagine it is not first floor, it is the foundation. Amen. Ask your neighbor, what is your foundation? Amen. I will say that he called it Rehoboth. Rehoboth means room to prosper. You can prosper, uh, Apostle. You can prosper northward, eastward, southward, westward.
Yes. 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 Holy be to the name of the Lord. Amen. What is it that you do and you feel like you are in Sitna? Quarrels day in day out. That's right. What is it that you do and you feel like you are at Essek? Nothing is, no, uh, nothing is working in your favor. Hold on. Verse number 22 is still waiting. Tell your neighbor verse number 22. Niyangu imagine. Niyangu imagine. Because they knew you when you were at Sitna. They knew you. When you are at Essex, mm -hmm. but tell them, hold on, baby. Mm -hmm. It is too early to start judging me. Come on now. Uh, don't it's judge me about. from oh, verse yeah. number 19. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait for verse number 22 oh, yes. because God is about to change my history. Yeah. God is about to change what you know about me. Amen. No verse 22. Verse 22. Okay. Don't judge me. Don't judge it me. is too early to judge me. Glory be to the name of God. Amen. And because we are here, I want to speak a Rehoboth for sad. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. That this place will not be limited. Yes. That this place will not have limitations. That's right. That this place will not have hindrances. Yes. Why? Because Christ is the foundation. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Mungependa sasa wachugaji wakuja hapa and there is somebody else, Paul had told me that he will join us here. Apostle is idea here mafuta. Na wakati mafuta inamuagwa kila mutu anasimama. Wana yesu wa tukuzi. And I want us to understand that this is just a... Hiya imeendewa pale, hata ijatolewa lebo. So I did not come with it. Wana asifimi. I did not come with it. Imenunuluwa pale kwa supermarket. This is just extra. And this is just oil. Glory be to the name of the Lord. But the Bible records that anointing destroys yokes. Wana yesu wa tukuzi. Amen. So we're going to pray for this oil. Amen. And when we mix it with the power of God, Amen. we're going to destroy every foundation right. that is not right. Amen. We're going to destroy every limitation. Yes. We're going to destroy every barrier. Yes. Anything that can, can hinder this business to prosper. Yes. Uh, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in our hands as your servant of God, we hold just mere oil, oh dear Redeemer. But when it is prayed for, it gets the power. One thing that we want to acknowledge this day is that our faith is not in this oil. That our trust is not in this oil. Our prosperity is not in this oil. Our businesses are not in this oil. But the anointing destroys you, so God. Our hope is in you, Jehovah God. And therefore, I sanctify this oil in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that this oil now, I disconnect you from the manufacturer's agreement and covenant. And I usher you to the covenant of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that speaks better things than that one of ever. And I declare that you have power now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Amen.